Ohio University basketball did whatever it wanted to do on Friday night in Athens. 80 to 37, the final score. The Bobcats clobber Coppin State. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Our postgame recap is supported by the Athens County Convention and Visitors Bureau on the web at AthensOhio.com. This stat sheet just sizzling right now as Ohio was on top at halftime, 45 to 17, outscored the Eagles 34-20 in the second half. Really, it was their ball game from the start to finish. The game was never tied and the lead never changed hands. Ohio had three in double figures in the contest, 18 from Mike Laster, 15 from Kevin Mickle, and James Gullen had 10. The important thing about this one was Kevin Mickle got back in there. After his injury against Indiana State, he missed the last two, but he came back in and did very well. Maybe tested that knee a little bit, but getting to 15 points in 15 minutes, we'll see that's a point a minute, and that's pretty good efficiency on the offensive end. And just getting another body back in there was huge. The big part of this deal was the fact that Ohio they had to run with a short rotation. Jason Carter and Kevin Mickle out of the ball games for Ohio over the last couple of games. So Ohio had to play with short rotations. You're able to rest guys tonight. Looking at the stat sheet, Jordan Dardis played 17 minutes. Uh, Gavin Block played 19, 19 for Doug Taylor. So you played a lot of guys, you rested a lot of guys. You had fun, the issue was never in doubt. And Ohio was able to win it 80 to 37 over Coppin State. So now, they're four and three. And getting Kevin Mickle back and potentially Jason Carter back from Maryland, it's kind of like a breath of fresh air, isn't it? To be able to get to the end of the line knowing that uh, you withstood some injuries. And now you might have the guys that you thought that you'd have at the start of the season back and healthy. Obviously, the other guys that have played so much over the last couple of games, they're going to need some time off. And the game against Maryland is next Thursday. So therefore, Ohio will have some recuperation time. Charter flight on Wednesday and then off to College Park, Maryland to take on the Terrapins out of the Big Ten. The last time Ohio saw them was back in 2007. They were in the ACC back then and Ohio was able to win over the Terrapins in College Park. So maybe Ohio can go back to back against the Terrapins this time around as well. Ohio won it 80 to 39 over Coppin State. The Eagles fall to 0 and 7 on the season. A little bit of rest. Maryland up next. A whole lot of fun on a Friday night in Southeast Ohio. Our recap is supported by the Athens County Convention and Visitors Bureau. I'm Russ Eisenstein, and this is Bobcat TV.